Rin, I love you. I love you too. Stop it! Vincent Brooks, here's to your flawless victory. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you hear what Vincent said? People are free to choose how they live. That conviction was so strong that not even a god could put a stop to it. <laughs> oh, they're so cute it makes your skin crawl. <laughs> With love this strong, they'll be able to face anything. Coming up, we have an update from Vincent at the, uh, usual haunt. Well, you may know by now that things are not always as they seem. Looks like there's more to this story. <laughs> Let's take a peek, shall we? So it all worked out, huh? Yeah! You'd better not cause any more tears. I know, I know. Ben, I promise you, I'll never hurt you like that ever again. From now on, I'll support you, no matter what happens. Vincent... I love you so much! <laughs> okay, that's enough, you little lovebirds. <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. So, what's the plan now? Think you'll keep playing piano for us? What? Is that really an option? You got a problem with that? Please have mercy. I can't let an angel stay here. Have you no fear in your bones? <laughs> an angel, huh? Sounds about right. It's true. I came here to fulfill my duties, but I finished. The nightmares are over. I'm sure my brother will let me become human now. Mm -hmm. Wait, become human? We are exalted creators who have led your kind since ancient times, beings with the power of gods. Huh? Young one, do you stand by the words you've spoken? Brother! That's your... Uh, your brother? Hey, is that... Really, your brother? Yeah. In this world, people refer to us as angels. Angels? Like... like literally? Absolutely unacceptable! Here are both your facts! Explain yourself! 
We approved your socialization with humans for the sake of the mission. But giving your heart to such a critter, and even wishing to become one yourself, we shall never allow it! We have no choice but to erase your memories again, take you back home, and re-educate you. Uh, question. You're saying that's it? Rin's going home? I refuse. I'm staying here. Vincent and I, we're in love. In love? Sorry, but you're kind of losing me here. <laughs> Mere moments from now, meteors shall come crashing down upon you. Not a shred of humanity will remain. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Please stop it. If you saw the strength of his will for yourself, even you would understand. Humankind is precious. They're full of potential. Isn't that right, Vincent? Uh, me? Uh... If you insist, we shall offer this human a trial before the end. Prove your worth to us. Show us this will, if you so wish for us to rethink our decision. Right. But wait, uh, what, a, a trial? <sighs> of course it's something like this. Accept our challenge. We won't slack off like someone you know. <laughs> Save me! I don't really get what you're saying. But if refusing means you'll take Rin away, then my only option is to accept. If I win, you go back home alone. And while you're at it, you take the meteors back with you too. We look forward to killing you. Now then, we shall grant you a moment's respite. We suggest you make your final farewells. and gentlemen it is on you got a mail my name is ellison cruz and i'd like to welcome you to the ninth day of catherine full body where we are officially full speed ahead to rin's true final ending and things have taken quite the turn as you can see life is back to normal <laughs> And everything has changed completely to how it was in the original game, which I absolutely love. I think the, the original creators had envisioned something like this initially, and then they kind of wrote everything backwards from this moment. And, oh man, it is good. I wish I turned subtitles off, but if you do that for cutscenes, it also does it for conversations out here. Anyways, congratulations. Uh, we have completed Imperium. <laughs> This game is not over, not even close. So, uh, if you guys can uh, beat my score, go ahead and feel free to do it. 304,000. Uh, and uh, that'll be a whole lot of fun, I would expect. So, that's neat. Uh, what else is there? I guess we can chat it up with people here. I don't think we really need to talk to anyone else. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Rin might be all right. We can play some, you know, lovely Rapunzel. But let's take a look at our jukebox. It's been a minute, and do we have anything new? Burn my dread. I feel like this was not here before, so let's take a look. Oh. 
Hmm. Wait a minute. Ooh, it's this one. I like Crossroads. This one's good too. Love this soundtrack. I think Persona 5 definitely has probably one of the stronger Atlas soundtracks. Right behind Catherine, of course. Song of Delight. Yeah, we'll go with this for now. I don't really think there's a whole lot for us to do here, but I'm glad that boss is still hanging around. Like, no big issue. But I wonder what these guys are doing here. Huh. Now, some breaking news. There have been numerous reports of unidentified flying objects across the world. Some experts believe this is the work of angels and set to take place every few hundred years. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Wait, are, are we still on? Oh, I apologize. I'll continue with the news. Uh, is totally easy. <laughs> oh man. Alright, Todd and Archie, what what are you guys doing here? Got fired. Both of us. What? Damn. I guess I'm paying the price for sleeping around. We're actually thinking about starting our own company. I want to open up a restaurant. A real fancy one. What about a donut shop with like a Pompadour logo? A, a donut shop? What why is that? It's a perfect representation of how we ended up here. Because we sure as hell dug ourselves this hole. <sighs> I don't understand. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, Archie, was that? I just forget I said anything. Do you guys remember when I said that Atlas essentially rewrote the entirety of this game just so that they could have the whole alien experience with Rin being incorporated? No, they did it so Todd and Archie could continue their arc and make donut puns. That is a true reason. Also, Justin coming in for some reason. Now, Q Atherin, I'll send you the photo we took this morning. Oh, I want to take more photos of us together. We are all surprisingly cavalier about the fact that we were visited by extraterrestrials that looked badass. I mean, not such a cool alien has been seen since probably Arrival, which I think is uh, the movie I was thinking of in some other random older part. But it's like, at this point, why would we, why would we deter from our path on getting with Rin? I don't think it's really in our best interests. I'll risk my life. I'll be superly overly dramatic. No matter what happens, I'll survive. Ooh, that sounds a little selfish. Huh. Let's save the world while we're at it. Love is the strongest force of all. And let's get our marriage license. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that. That appears to be the overlying theme. Let's shoot a video of us after this is all over. <laughs> it's kind of uh, crummy. But sure, we'll go for that. Oh man, um, yeah, we are totally in it with Rin, and unsurprisingly, I want to see, yeah, Martha and Lindsay are still here. Um, I think I already mentioned this, but technically, Rin is a cross-dressing male and not transgendered like you know other characters in this game, and it's just the fact that um, if you go through less spicuous endings, Rin is just uh, revealed to be like a really petite man with a high-pitched voice and he just enjoys cross-dressing, which is fine and whatever, and there's no alien subplot, so it's interesting that the webs that this game has, because neither of the Catherines, I think, are in the rest of the game, except for maybe a picture or something, but man. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Yes, please, ladies. I have something wonderful to tell you. New dialogue. We are going to be on the news. Why? What did you guys do? We didn't do anything. We just predict the future. We predict sports, politics, the economy, and the stock market every day. Yeah, that's pretty TV worthy. We were approached by a TV producer while we were telling fortunes out in the city. The name of the segment has already been decided. Martha and Lindsay's life forecast. It'd be nice to have a theme song. Perhaps it was you who led us on this new path. Thank you, Man of Legends. Legends just gonna have to carry on a little longer. 